Here's Cobb round the wicket again. Pulled away and it's going to be Six. caught. No, he's not going to be caught. It's just kept going. And it cleared Rob Keogh at deep mid-wicket. Mal called it right. It was sick. And again, bowling to Reese. And that's gone straight up in the air. I think he's going to be caught by Nisham. Backpedalling at mid-wicket. He's gone up a long way. Nisham makes no mistake. And Tom Taylor strikes the first blow for the steel back. Bid to earn a quarter-final place. Pulled away by... Oh, oh, it's another superb Lord. catch. Incredible He's pulled catch. away by Masood. And it's that man wow. again, Rob Keogh. Sixth over the power play. And uh, it's, it's hard this time. Over points for four. I mean, how much control? It's four runs. It's, uh, and Back through the innings here. Heldrick bowls. It's a full toss. It's hit in the air down the grounds. A chance this will be out. It is. And every time I say that, <laughs> something happens. I think it was, yeah, his Nisham, and wow. that's a clever shot by Kerr, who gives himself a lot of room, comes right across his stumps, goes for the flick, the little ramp first here, but maybe this is slightly more difficult to score quickly on. He's gone aerial, it's gone up a long way. I think he's going to be caught out there on the boundary, and he is safely held. So maybe this score is not as bad as we might think. Heldrick, he's going to pick up a wicket, and he has. It's driven and skewed off the backward point. And there again. And that was, a, <laughs> that was a simple catch. In right arm over the wicket, and he gets back and he's got hold of that one, all right? That will be six. That's the uh, biggest hit of the night. It's over. It's well, in it's Clark Road scores, Gardens. Yeah. It's bounced into the gardens, isn't it? 130 for five. Madsen now on 37. It's hard to cob. He takes a good catch at extra cover. That was a good catch. Now, 131 for six. Full toss this time, which will be caught by Josh Cobb. <laughs> well, that was an easy, an easy catch. Mel tells us can hit big. Let's see what he can do here, because he needs to. Oh, he's been absolutely cleaned up. Bold. The off stump comes cartwheeling backwards out of the ground. Mel, but as a coach, you're still, still feeling it a bit as it's hit hard down the ground this time by Watts, but uh, well fielded by Graham White. As they come back for a second, but with it being the last ball of the, over the, of the innings, they're bound to, and there's a run out. The first ball of the innings. And it's, Out. No, can you believe it? That's totally my fault. Caught behind. <laughs> I talked him up so much, and he's nicked one off to the wicketkeeper, and he's gone. First ball of the innings. It's Cobb on strike now, and he hits hard over the top, and that will be four. That was a good shot, wasn't it? It was controlled, Joe. It was over extra cover for four. He bowls full, and it's hit down the ground for four. That is a good shot from Josh Cobb. There was a... McKinnon for a second thought he had a chance with his mid-off. Five for one, Cobb's on 24. And he hits that, well, six. very beautifully. That's Is that gone all the way for six? Yeah. Gosh, it has. And that's a long boundary. He's hit it. I mean, it's, it's cow corner, isn't it? 30 off 18 balls. And the wicket comes, what, driven up and over, and that's half a dozen. That's gone into the seats in front of the Lynn Wilson indoor centre, and Josh Cobb, Man on a mission here. Three balls to spare after making a bit of a meal of it towards the end. Pulled away by Curran. It's up in the air. He should be caught, and he is caught down at deep backward square. And short ball finding out Ben Curran there. His scrimshaw bowl short, out. and it's the uppercut, out. and he's going to be caught by Hayden Carr. Oh, no, he's six. touched the rope. Six. He's touched the rope, and that's six. For the first time tonight, bowls to... Cobb, who greets him by flaying him through extra cover for four, and that's 50 for Josh Cobb. Here's Connors in again, bowls to Zabe, and that's a quick ball, and he's caught behind. Zabe trying to pull, went off the glove, a good catch. A friend of mine just walked past and realised it, but anyway, I'm happy. I'm happy with the steelbacks. Brilliant shot great. there from Keogh. Yeah, he slaps that what? very hard through extra cover for four. Strangely enough. Cobb on strikes. Very imaginative nickname. Is it's cut? He could be out this time. Cobb, he is. He's caught. He cuts uppishly to point. Man on the boundary. You have to look that on YouTube as well, Joe. See if you can find them that. Nisham on one on strike. Oh, he launches that down to long on. In fact, wide of long on. And pick up four. And he's. he's it was a high risk shot, though, wasn't it? Two men in the deep. So it wasn't too shabby, Mal. As this is flicked for six, what a shot that is what from a shot, Rob Keogh. I thought wow. it was Jimmy Nisham for a second. It's the right-handed Keogh who just whipped it off, I guess, middle, middle and leg. Nine points from seven games. His Hughes round the wicket oh, again, pulled out. by Nisham, and he's going to be caught on the boundary, and he is caught on the boundary at long on. Oh. Comes in and bowls to Keogh, who drives that through extra cover, and that's a victory 
for Northamptonshire Steelbacks. They've won here by five wickets with 11 balls to spare.